When a tooth has a cavity or a failing filling, typically we have two materials to conservatively restore the tooth with, either with a white filling composite restoration or with an inlay onlay porcelain restoration. One of the most common questions I get is what is the difference between the two? White fillings are considered direct restorations because the dentist directly fabricates and places the restoration. We get predictable results with these restorations when less than half the width of the tooth is being restored and is, and if the filling is not supporting the bite. The wider the filling gets, the more likely the filling will support the bite. Thus, more likely the bond on the filling will fail due to the excessive biting force. Why do we care so much about the bond of the filling? When the tooth is intact, either as a healthy tooth or as a restored tooth, by bonding, the stress of the biting force goes down the root of the tooth. This is good. When a tooth has a cavity or, the f or has a failing restoration, the tooth structure is not intact and held together. The stress of the biting force causes the cusp to bend. Ultimately, this bending can lead to fracturing of teeth. Therefore, having the best bond with the best duration is very important in determining the predictability of the success of the restoration. So when we have a larger portion of tooth structure missing, needing to be repaired, we recommend inlays and onlayers. Inlays and onlays are indirect porcelain restorations that are fabricated by the laboratory. After the preparing the tooth, the dentist takes an impression of the tooth for the lab. These restorations are one solid piece of porcelain that are cemented and bonded into the tooth. The strength of the restoration and bond to the tooth are superior than a composite restoration. Thus, we can predictably reinforce more tooth structure. In addition, one of the main benefits of onlays over composites is the ability to replace a cusp predictab predictably while being conservative. Um, you no longer have to reduce unhealthy tooth structure, which is a huge advantage for onlays. Therefore, dentists don't have to unnecessarily remove all the way around the tooth. By just onlaying a cusp, we are providing a restoration that contains the pieces and holds them together. The cusp is replaced and is no longer at risk of fracture, resulting in a conservative, predictable treatment option for a large cavity or failing restoration.